I'm going to talk about understanding limits in my website's mybooksucks.com. My name is David Longstreet. In this curve, which is f of x is equal to x cubed, what we can do is we can take a tangent line everywhere. A tangent line is really our objective when we take a limit or a derivative is finding the tangent line. And so we can move it there and we see that the tangent line exists on all over the curve. At any point we choose, we can have a tangent line. We also want to know when we take a limit or a derivative, is the line continuous at all points? And in this case, we can go up and we can see that the line is continuous everywhere. Kind of slows down right there and I'll speed up in just a second. And something else kind of a little coincidental, my uh, speed also equates to the derivative. That is the, the slope of the derivative. Here's another equation, f of x is equal to one over x. And this is what the curve looks like. Like before, there's a tangent line that exists everywhere. We see it all exists in three different places, but it exists everywhere in these two curves. And now if we look at it as it's continuous, and we go on the bottom left-hand side, we see that the line is continuous. And on the right-hand side, we see that the curve is continuous as well. But there's a problem we're having here about continuous. And then when I write limit of one over x, x approaches zero, this is what happens to my limit as I get close and close to zero, or the red line or x is equal to zero. What happens when x is equal to zero? Take the limit from the left side, left to right, I see that, like before, it's continuous, but as I go left to right, y becomes very, very small, a big negative number. On the other hand, when I move right to left, y becomes very large, a large positive number. So let me fit that out. So what we say is, as we limit from the left, and we have the limit from the right, in this case, they don't equal each other, and we say the limit does not exist at zero. Hopefully you understand that concept, it's a pretty simple concept. Now on this equation, if we go from the left to right, approaching zero again, what we see is, it's the same as right to left. They approach and they meet right there at zero, so the limit exists. Now, what this means is the limit from the left and the limit from the right, they equal each other. And in this case, they equal zero. So we say that the limit exists at zero. So we'd write this as equal to zero, the whole thing equals zero. There you go.